Right, first up is a fantastic drink that you can make um, at home. It's using, the main ingredient is um, organic apple cider vinegar. A lot of people use the um, apple cider vinegar but they have it neat or they don't dilute it enough. It's really, really acidic. It has got benefits for your health. It's prebiotic because of all the fibre from the apples. Um, but it can strip the enamel off your teeth so don't drink apple cider vinegar on its own but in this you're adding lots of other ingredients and it's absolutely delicious. So I've got apple cider vinegar, I'm going to add two tablespoons uh, to my jug here and if you can get the organic stuff that's great, that's the best one. So two tablespoons. The next ingredient we're going to add is maple syrup which although it's sugar it's a natural form of sugar and maple syrup's delicious and it's got B vitamins in it as well. So we're going to add three tablespoons and that just get, makes it lovely and sweet. Um, to that we're going to add just 500 mils of water, just normal water, or 500 mils, two cups. Then what we're going to add is um, some ginger uh, and ginger is fantastic, it's really good for fighting inflammation and it's great for like nausea, stomach upsets and whatever as well. So what I've got here is I've got about a tablespoon and I've zested the ginger. So I'm going to add a tablespoon of ginger in here. And then what I'm going to add is last up I've got some lemon juice, some freshly squeezed lemon juice. And again, lemons are fantastic. They're really high in vitamin C, which is really good to support your immune system um, and lots of other different things as well. So I'm going to add about a tablespoon of lemon juice in the jug and I'm just going to mix that all in. And Although, as I say, a lot of people think that apple cider vinegar actually contains live probiotics, it doesn't really, its benefit is that it's prebiotic, so it has stuff that feed the good bacteria in your gut, which is great. So I've got my bottle here, and I'm going to pour my lovely mixture into the bottle. What you can do with this is then you can just leave this in the fridge. Um, if, if you leave it actually for two or three days, it actually does start to get a wee bit of carbonation on it. Um, but you can actually just drink it as it is. You can mix it with sparkling water. The way that I do it is um, I mix it with equal amounts of sparkling water for a really lovely, refreshing drink. You just give it a wee shake. That's a fantastic drink called Switchel. So you can put that in the fridge. Don't drink it at that strength because that's too strong. What you do then is just dilute it with half and half with some lovely sparkling water or you can mix it with tonic water as well. If you don't like fizz, then what to do is just mix it half and half with normal water and that will give you at the right strength. And it's lovely in, uh, on a hot day, just served over ice and um, with a wee slice of lemon. Um, and, and again, it dates back to the Amish um, uh, people. They used to, this is what the guys used to have when they were out in the fields working all day. Instead of just having water, they used to take um, this uh, switzel because it helped to replace electrolytes. It gave them a bit of a boost of their muscles were sore from the ginger and it just get more benefits than just standard water and it tastes really good as well. So that's a really simple drink to make um, using ingredients that most people would actually have um, in the house. And again, once you've made that up, you can put that in your fridge and you can keep that in your fridge um, for a few days, up to a week, it's fine. And it'll start to get a wee bit of a gentle fizz on it, which is quite nice as well.